good afternoon to all my subscribers and uh, this is a video which was uh, kind of unexpected because um, I was not prepared to do this video however in the threat of the recent coronavirus and the amount of questions and DMs I've been receiving uh, regarding this and my take on it um, I wanted to do this video uh, today um, Saturday um, this is Saturday morning in US right now. Um, it's uh, January 25th, 2020. And um, I'm just going to try to do this video in a question answer session mode so that I can address the questions because this is exactly how the questions came to me either from patients or other friends and family and DMs and Instagram or other messages that I received. Um, the first and foremost question is, uh, what is a coronavirus? Coronavirus is follow, falls in a very common group of viruses that causes uh, respiratory illness. And uh, it is a prevalent illness that is seen mostly in young children and um, definitely in immunocompromised patients it's definitely a more threat however uh, we know that this strain that we have uh, the coronavirus strain which is called the 2019 ncov is not just the run of a mill uh, kind of coronavirus which just causes like a little sore throat cough or congestion this is absolutely a dangerous threat this strain is not the usual one now, um, my second question is, uh, where was this uh, first uh, seen, uh, the case, the first uh, case was seen in um, Wuhan, uh, this is how you spell it, so this was um, seen in Wuhan a district or um, in the Wuhan city, it's the uh, on, in the Hubei province in China. And uh, after I read through a lot of uh, reports, I found that um, that this actually started in the month of January when there was uh, in a in a market there was a. a case um, of a few people getting sick and most probably this was a transfer between an animal to a human in the market which caused the first case in China. However, um, apart from that, we are seeing that human to human transmission of this case is also going on because um, people who worked in the market was affected however there was a lot of people who do not belong or worked in the market or in contact with any animals were also infected so it's very very highly um, susceptible and um, strain um, not a highly susceptible strain that will be easily killed I guess um, so usually um, Coronaviruses are killed um, in room temperature in 48 hours. However, carpets on the floor can keep the virus alive for 7 to 10 days. So this is something for us to think about is um, that the coronavirus can be uh, killed by um, insecticides or pesticides and things like that. But uh, definitely carpets are a threat and um, the cases that were reported uh, in patients who were not from that uh, area or the market where a human transmission was going on. My next uh, question is how many cases have been uh, seen and where are these cases? A uh, total of um, 1400 to 1500 cases have been um, reported at this time and uh, this has been throughout Asia. However, um, mainly mainland China has been affected by the disease and um, the other places where the disease has been seen is um, um, not, uh, I think it's, it has been seen at uh, Thailand, Japan, North Korea and there is some reported cases in um, Thailand as well. Now the case, um, this uh, from Wuhan 
the case has also been went to Beijing and Shanghai. So the other reported cases are are from Beijing and Shanghai. So Wuhan is not the only place where the disease is restricted right now. And uh, that is exactly the situation. My next question is, uh, what is uh, Chinese people or Chinese government or health officials dealing with this? Um, as we know, a Chinese doctor was killed from the disease while treating patients. It is a high, high, high threat disease, definitely, because um, the doctor was killed while treating the patients. So definitely, it's a very, very high threat disease. And um, the transmission definitely was from the patient to the doctor, I guess. And that is how, how the doctor was, was killed. Now, there has been two reported cases in the United States. The first case um, that has been reported in United States is um, uh, just a little north of Seattle. Um, and this was uh, in a patient who is 30 years old and he lives in Washington state. He visited Wuhan during the month of January. And uh, so that's why we have seen that um, this is more of a situation in which this case was diagnosed. Um, this, this patient uh, was definitely um, had symptoms and when he came to know about the disease he actually called and he is currently in the hospital he is doing fine however he is still in the hospital under treatment to the best of my knowledge and uh, most of these were um, received these uh, news um, I have collected uh, from various um, authentic sources including BBC and um, FDA um, etc. The um, the next case that has been uh, the second case has been seen in a 60 year old woman uh, in Chicago. Uh, the lady also had traveled uh, to um, Wuhan and uh, she is currently hospitalized in Chicago and um, she's also doing well. She had traveled to China in December and I think she came back on January 13 to Chicago back. Uh, the woman had not spent much time in public after arriving back to US and had not taken any public um, health, I mean public transportation to the best of our knowledge. However, um, the risk is apparently low from people who had gotten the disease possibly from this lady but um, the close contacts to this lady are being monitored closely. The director of CDC um, has reported, uh, Dr. Dr. Messonier um, said that it's, it's very important that a lot of people don't know about the disease. Please, please, please share this video so many and many more people can know about the disease so they can prepare even if they have symptoms and they can quickly contact their physicians. This is definitely a national threat, an international threat for everybody. Um, and uh, this is definitely going to be a, quite a difficult journey, I, I believe, because of the situation right now. Now, um, the treatment of coronavirus, um, usually coronaviruses are um, we, we get a flu shot every year which uh, has um, the strains of the, um, of the virus. Um, but the, the strain uh, was um, that this has, I do not think that was part of the flu virus for this year. Um, the symptoms of the disease is usually runny nose, sore throat and fever. However, um, we are going to see that uh, this disease will go travel directly to the lower respiratory tract and affect the lungs very severely causing a viral pneumonia and they are going to get deadly sick. Um, dehydration could be a very big thing. So um, using a humidifier in your room uh, is going to help a lot. A humidifier definitely will help in uh, getting the risk of this virus being transmitted low. So I cannot stress enough that a humidifier 
needs to be used by everybody at least for now anyway a humidifier helps the lungs and the upper respiratory tract as well so nevertheless this would be a great thing um, the and how is it detected um, usually the coronaviruses are detected by a nasal swab uh, right now this strain of the coronavirus is being detected by cdc cdc is doing the testing on the cases and they are monitoring 26 patients at this time who could possibly have this disease the disease can be tested by two ways one is a pcr test or a polymerase chain reaction test by which a nasal swab is done and they look at the actual genome of the virus um, the other test is a serology or a blood serology in which you take a sample of the blood and you can look for patients who have got the disease in the past and have developed uh, immunity to the disease and have been able to fight the disease. Immunocompromised state is definitely a big threat to the disease. The uh, treatment for this virus. Um, there is two drugs which has been identified to be treating this disease. Um, this is the, um, the drug is a protease inhibitor group of uh, drugs. It's lopinavir and the ritonavir that is being uh, used for the treatment of the disease. Uh, lopinavir and ritonavir. Now, um, there is another uh, drug that was looked at into, uh, but um, right now, these are the only two drugs that seem to be effective against this strain of the coronaviruses. Um, the next uh, question is how is china preparing for the disease china has definitely stopped all of the new year's plan this is a a, a very uh, auspicious time of the year for china and they have uh, stopped all the celebrations for new year um, because of the of this uh, threat that has suddenly arrived and uh, they have actually been um, they broke the ground for a new hospital um, in China, um, in the Wuhan district, um, it's a thousand bed hospital. The hospital work will be completed by February 3rd so that thousand patients can be admitted and be seen for the virus. The virus is spreading very, very quickly. Um, we have to remember that we had a SARS outbreak in China uh, in the year 2003 uh, called the SARS, which had killed a lot of people in China and uh, this is a similar type of virus which is given from human to human through droplet precautions uh, definitely so that if somebody is coughing they need to keep the cough covered because it's transmitted by droplets wearing masks for traveling will be very important if you are going to go for international traveling or any traveling um, outside the United States or even inside the United States using a mask will be pr pr effective because the the disease seems to be transmitted by droplets and so forth. Um, these are some of the things that I felt was important. Hydration again is a key. Taking um, vitamin C, zinc could help in you preventing the disease, just increasing your immunocompromised state, uh, which it is very, very important. So that is uh, patients who have COPD or have prior history of pneumonia or prior history of coronary disease. They are definitely at higher risk of getting the disease. However, hopefully we will be able to contain the disease within a few patients and be able to treat it. I will be following this disease very, very closely and bring you updates for the disease as much as possible. I hope you liked um, the information and uh, if you have any other questions, please do not forget to write down so I can answer the questions in an update video which I will be doing soon on this virus. For now, this is all and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for updated news on this um, threat that we are getting and um, we will continuously monitor the threat, definitely. I hope you guys stay safe and have a great rest of the day and weekend. Take care.